This week's movie section sees Black Adam, Commissioner Gordon, and Captain America making a Santa Claus movie with Lucy Liu. Also, we're talking about the Nosferatu trailer that just dropped, and Spaceballs 2 really is a thing, really. And a bit more, so let's get into it. Hello, nerds! You have found the place for all of the nerdy movie updates worth talking about. More than just comic book movies, though that is a good chunk of what we cover here in the news, we get nerdy about all kinds of movies, as well as the art of making movies in general. If you like this kind of news reporting, then go check out the full show over on the main channel called The Week in Nerddom, where we talk about TV and comic books and gaming and rumors and etc. etc. everything in between. You can find the link to that down in the description or at the end of this video. Now, let's hear about all that movie goodness, shall we? No follow-ups or corrections to speak of this week in the news, but we do have trailers to talk about, and the first one is that Nosferatu trailer. Robert Eggers is directing a Nosferatu movie. The, if you don't know why you know that name, he did The Witch. He did... What was the other one? I'm, just, I'm totally blanking on the other one of his that I really, really loved, but it's just escaped my brain. Either way, Witch, good one. Yeah, he's, he's a good A24 director. This movie is going to be featured Bill Skarsgård as Nosferatu. We don't see him in this trailer, but we have Nicholas Holt in another freaking vampire movie. We've talked about this casting before, but I just think it's freaking hilarious. He just did Renfield, and now he's going to be whatever Keanu Reeves, I can't remember, names are escaping me for these characters, but effectively the, the Keanu Reeves role from the Dracula movie from the 90s, 80s, 80s, 90s, 91, I think. Lily Rose Depp is going to be in it on Aaron Taylor Johnson, Emma Corrin, Ralph Ines, Simon McBurney, and Willem freaking Defoe. So you know this. Robert Eggers going to be directing Willem Defoe. This is going to be insanely wonderful. The trailer looks fantastic. Hopefully Lily Rose Depp can act her way out of a box this time. But yes, go check out the trailer. It's going to be awesome. And Christmas can't get here soon enough, man. Speaking of Christmas can't get here soon enough, the next trailer we have this week is Red One. Uh, this is, I wrote it in the notes even this way. This is The Rock. This is Chris Evans. This is J.K. Simmons and Lucy Liu doing an action adventure Santa Claus movie. J.K. Simmons plays Santa Claus. The Rock is like his trainer or his first uh, guy for security, something. But uh, yeah, it, it's, it, this is is going to be ridiculous popcorn fodder. This is not going to do anything to change cinema. This is just going to be a hell of a lot of fun in theaters, at least I hope. And again, Christmas time is when it's coming out. Go check out the trailer. And then our other trailer that came out this week, also from A24, is Heretic. This one hits a little bit, a little close to home as I was raised LDS. So the missionaries are very well known to my household, but it's a horror movie about two female LDS missionaries, the Mormons, for those of you that don't know the code words, and it's starring Hugh Grant. It like there's there's the, the trailer starts off and you almost get this weird like sexual overtone, which is I'm sure they're going to play up a lot more in the actual movie, but I don't think that's the direction they're going to take it. I really don't think it's going to be gross in that way. I think it's going to be frightening for many other reasons, but I don't think they're going to go for the low hanging fruit, which, you know, is a easy thing to do because you have a older man in Hugh Grant who could easily overpower these two young girls to do whatever. And I don't think we're going to go that direction. The rest of the trailer, once you get past the weird part, the rest of the trailers paints a very different kind of horror movie. So very intrigued by this one. Go check out the trailer. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. That's what we got for trailers, though. Let's talk about some regular ass news here in the movie section. We have rumor confirmation in that Spaceballs 2 is actually a thing. We are going to be seeing Josh Gad star in the sequel to the classic, what was it, 1980s parody movie, Spaceballs. Originally starring John Candy, I'm assuming Josh Gad is going to do something similar to John Candy's barf. Um, the rest of the actors are definitely escaping me right now. And I don't even have it in the rest of the notes. Whatever. 
it's a classic movie. I really hope Josh Gad knows what the hell he's doing and he's not just going to try and virtue signal for an hour and a half when it's supposed to be a comedy movie. Uh, but the executive producing with Gad is going to be Mel Brooks, who wrote, directed, and produced the first movie. So that at least has signs of hope attached to it. So there's that. But our next piece in regular ass news is Blumhouse and Atomic Monster, both horror production kind of into their own right. Blumhouse for sure. Atomic Monster does a little bit more than horror, but the two of them are merging. They're becoming one production house. I could not find what the new name, it's, it might just be Blumhouse Atomic Monster, I don't know, but something along those lines. James Wan and Jason Blum are the two in charge of these two studios, and now they're teaming up to do things. There is rumors going around what their first movie is going to be after the merger is finalized. But that's for the rumor section, not for the movie section. This is the movie section where we talk about the fact that the merger is real and happening, and we're going to move on from there. And then our final piece of regular ass news has to do with another sequel movie. Nobody 2 has just been announced as Bob Odenkirk returning to the role, so that's pretty great. We also have a release date, August 15th of next year. So 2025, we will see Odenkirk return to the role of nobody. I can't remember the name of the character because I take, say it with me class, amazing notes. <laughs> so yeah, uh, August 15th, once again, is going to be the release date, 2025, nobody too. That's everything we got for you, except for this week's suggestion for movies. And it was an easy one. Spaceballs, man. If you are a fan of comedy, Mel Brooks should be on regular rotation. And this week, since we got the official word that Spaceballs is getting a sequel, go back and watch the original and see why it was so amazing. Because Rick Moranis is in this movie. Good Lord, how did I forget that? Rick Moranis is in this movie. Rick Moranis and John Candy in a movie together. Also, the voice of Joan Rivers. I don't know if she's actually in the weird 3PO suit or not, but her voice is definitely all over this. And then there's other people that I honestly should remember more, but, you know, I, I prefer the comedic actors, the, the, the more comedic people, whatever. It's good. Spaceballs is amazing. That's your suggestion for the week. That brings us to the end of the video, nerds. Thank you very much for joining me for the news. Once again, there is a full and probably much more up-to-date and recent episode of the news, the full-length version, if you will, called The Week in Nerdom over on the main channel, linked down in the description and probably link popping up somewhere around my face right about now. So click on that, go check that out as well. Or if you prefer your news in more truncated pieces, then by all means, just stick around here and go check out some of the other stuff we offer on this channel. Thank you very much for joining me. We will see you in the next one. Before we go, always, always remember, nerds, that if it is generally nerdy, it's probably here.